guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia. So today I'm going to show you how I put my shoes on while sitting in my chair. Um, I also have another video about putting shoes on where I put my shoes on on my bed and also how I've adapted my shoes and I'll link a card above if you want to check that out and also we'll put it at the end of the video um, if you want to check out that video. Um, so like the one where I put my shoes on on my bed, um, I'm going to put on two different types of shoes to just add a, bit, a little bit of diversity. Um, just a pair of boots and then the other one will be my uh, flip-flop. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is to make sure that you set yourself up close to a surface that um, that is high enough where you can put you when you can set your shoes, so it's easy to grab once you're set up to put your shoes on. Um, so I'm just going to use this here, and then first putting on my right shoe. So I'm going to cross my leg um, over. Um, and I do get spasms that um, that give me like knee flexions, so I have to kind of like fight against that. Um, so um, I'll hook behind my chair here, not to like fall uh, forward, and then cross my leg over, and then from there bring my leg up and open it up. So again, I'll bring my arm in here and then push on the. Um, on my inner thigh to kind of open up my hip a little bit then bring my other hand and lock it over here to make sure my foot doesn't fall off so then grabbing grab my flip flop that way and again bring my hand in there and then using my tenodesis plus my elbow on my inner thigh to prevent my leg from like moving around and falling off. So then bring it here towards my toe. And the key is always to have like straps at the back that has a little bit of like give, so like a bit of an elastic or um, some kind of give so it's easy for you to grab. bring your finger inside where the strap is and putting it around and here you go flip-flops are usually pretty easy to put on okay so crossing my other legs so I can put my other shoe on and bring my hip up here then grabbing my boot so if you remember from my previous video I do adapt my boot with some um, kind of like leather strap at the back so it's easier to kind of put on so I usually have a friend that does that for me but you could bring your shoe to a cobbler that would do something like that or you could do it yourself if you get a leather rivet kit and you get the equipment that you need and I'll put all that stuff in the description below if you want to check it out okay so I normally will put my thumb through that leather strap that's in the back here and then with that so this soles the sole of this shoe is actually a little bit heavier so it's like harder for me to actually grab it without slipping out of my hand so this is the way I kind of do it then I'll like brace the front of the leather so it doesn't slip out while I take my thumb out of the leather strap at the back and put it the other way and then try to bring it towards me while doing this It 
in. Also like pushing the knee on the other side, then grabbing the leather in the front here. Take this out, roll this over to try to bring the foot in a bit further. And then grab the leather strap to bring it in. And then I'm pushing on the knee here to bring my foot in. Again, grabbing the leather strap here to roll it over. This is how I put my shoes on. So yeah, the boots are always a little bit harder. Um, but yeah, this is how I do it. So uh, if you like the video, uh, please like and subscribe. And you can also uh, add any comments or questions you have below. And thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time.